I'm Rhonda from Joy Junk Teak, and I'm so glad that you're here. I hope you're having a beautiful day. Well, I wanted to share a project that I've been working on um, for my design team project for Everlasting Journals. And there's a story behind how this came about. I was um, just kind of cleaning out some of my papers. I have so much stacked up everywhere. And just as I made my piles, you know, they would just be haphazardly piled on top of each other. And I kind of liked how it looked. So that kind of inspired me to take just some pages that, you know, are in my stash and combine them with this beautiful kit that I got this time from um, Christy at Everlasting Journals and put it all together, layer it, and make a little, a little collage hanging. And I just think they turned out precious. So... I wanted to show you how I made those. Um, first, I'll show you, just let you see what I've done with these that I already have made. So I took a piece of cardstock or something. This is just a piece of cardstock that was embossed. And that's my backing. And then I just kind of layered different pieces from the kit and papers that I had, doilies, book pages, whatever, whatever just kind of went together. Um, and then I just added some little embellishments, the sorry silk ribbon, the jute string to the top, and I just looped it through after I put um, the little eyelets in. So that's how simple it is. They were really quick and easy, and I just think they would be precious to hang up somewhere or to give as a gift. So you could do, you know, anything, any kind of combination of papers and embellishments that you wanted. I think these would be really cute too to do for fall and Christmas. So um, I'll be working on some more of these for that. So this is the first one and I have different pieces from her kit that is so so cute. Just beautiful pages. I had this little saying so I just added it to the top and this pretty embellishment. Little doily, little flowers layered. So it's the layering that gives it so much um, dimension and just adds to the beauty that you already have from this kit. So let me show you the next one. So this one, um, I love this image right here. I just think it's so sweet. It would be really sweet to give your mom. So I had the little saying hugs and kisses I added to the top. Um, I just started out with a piece of cardstock on the back, layered up with book pages, music pages, um, you know, just pieces here and there. And then I actually did this one on cardstock so that it would sturdy up the front too. So most of the pieces on the front are done in cardstock, um, just to kind of stiffen it better. And then I just added just some little crochet lace that was a scrap. This little scrap piece of lace, this little flower and a rhinestone, along with this little seam binding ribbon here. Simple, simple, but I think they're so cute. This one, I actually added a little, a little tail to it with a little, little piece of, uh, a little charm. Just love this picture, it's so pretty. Such a pretty young girl. And I just layered several pieces of a kit, music page, um, book page, and this little piece of a receipt book. And so that started out with cardstock, but I had this piece of lace that was just a little scrap and so I thought that would be cute to add to the bottom and then add a little charm to it to hang along with this pretty little handmade rose that I've made in a video before and just, just little scraps. And I love how that turned out. So I actually, with this piece of lace, I actually left a little pocket in the back. And so I have a little, the start of a journal right here that I'll finish up to put in the back of this. But how cute is that? That would make a precious little gift. Oh, and I added this little bow to the top. But I just think that would be just a super cute, super easy little little gift to give away. And also, um, you know, you could do the journal and a card or a card. You could make a handmade card out of this too to put in the back um, to personalize it. So I just think there's all kinds of possibilities that you can do with this just using your scrap pieces. 
And then this one I made a little bigger because I really loved this page here. It's so, so pretty. Um, I, I just love these colors that she used. And let me see. So here's a few pieces that I have left that I haven't actually torn up yet from that kit. But they're so pretty and so colorful. They just um, make you feel happy when you look at them with all the colors and the patterns. Here's that pretty swan. This is the piece I'm talking about. I think this is my favorite. I just love this aged blue and the roses. So pretty. Now this is actually from another kit. So she has a lot of collage kits that make this really simple. Um, because when you look at her collages, it just kind of inspires you to make this kind of a collage. So I found it very um, inspiring too, to look at her pages. So on this one, we of course started out with this, this back page um, attached to cardstock. And I had printed that on coffee dyed paper too, so that's why it has even more of the aged effect. Most of my pages I usually print on coffee dyed paper, but if I really want the colors to pop on them, then I'll just print them on white paper or cardstock. And um, then I have this image from one of the other kits she has, and just layered up the different pieces from her kits a dually, music paper, book paper, same story. I love to work with those, and this piece is really old, but I love that on the edge there. And then I just added a piece of Sorry Silk Ribbon and layered up some little dually pieces and this beautiful little lace flower that has the rhinestones. So I love it. I, I have to say, I think this one is my favorite, but I like them all. So, all right, well, I'm gonna show you how I went about this and just show you how simple it is. So here I have some pages that I've already just kind of put together and stacked up. Um, so here's another piece from her kit that I tore off. This one's actually just paper. Um, and I may print that on cardstock to stiffen it up. But, so like this one is on cardstock and it's a lot stiffer for the front. It just kind of helps to secure it better in the front. So I may just use that one. Um, so we're gonna layer, you just build up your layers. So let, let me pull all this off. On this one, I'm gonna use this printed cardstock. So I'm just gonna tear this in half. Like that. And this will be my base. So then I thought I would just add a dually just to kind of give it a little more dimension on the bottom there. So I'm gonna grab my glue. Go ahead and get this secured. And I'm just gonna glue it in the center for now. And then I'll come back and attach any edges that the other glue doesn't catch as you layer. So then, on my layers, I had just a scrap piece of book paper. So um, at this point, when I start layering, I kind of just um, just layer first, and then just kind of play with them so that I can see what's going to show where I want it to show. So I'm just going to kind of just kind of lay it here for a minute. I don't know if I've got my angles right. So it's the angles that matter the most when you're, because you want to have it to where you can see all of the different layers. So you just kind of angle it until you get the effect you want. And okay, so this and this and this are all from her kits. So I want I don't like them to be the exact same angle. So I want at least some kind of difference in each layer in the angles. 
So, I'm just gonna keep playing until I get it like I want it. And if you would rather have this actually straight, so when you hang it, the front picture will be straight and the rest will be angled, then you can do that too. So you could almost line it up with this and then just change the angle of this one. And that looks nice. And then this is just a tiny little piece of a piano paper. I thought about just trying to tuck it in somewhere up here. Just where it peeps out a little bit. Like that. But I kind of like that. I think that looks really good. So, I think I'm going to start gluing. So what I've been doing on all these that I made, I, I would have started gluing from the bottom up. But you kind of need to see how it looks before you start gluing. So what I've been doing is just as I get it like I want it, then I just come back and start gluing each layer from the top so that I don't have to move it all. And this little piece has a little bit of white on it. Let me see if I can tear that without losing it. Okay, and that works because it even distressed it for me. Okay, and then you can ink around the edges if you like that look, if you want it to kind of pop out from the rest of it. And you can ink all the edges if you want. That would give it even more dimension. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to do the top piece on this one. Let's see if I can get it back where I had it now. That's pretty close. Looks pretty straight. So I'm just gonna take and add a teensy bit of glue on this piece. And as you start gluing, it's gonna catch those underneath pieces too. Okay, it shifted a little bit, so I'm just gonna make sure it's still straight. And then I'm gonna glue it down. And I'm gonna gently turn it around and add some more to this side. My glue's giving me a little, it's being contrary today. I need to open my new bottle. And you may not want to glue all the way to the edges because you can kind of curl your edges and make the layers stand out more. So, cause that's what I liked about my piles is they were all different kind of crumpledy. Uh oh, I shifted it again. Um, they were all kind of crumpledy and all different when they, um, when they were in the pile. So it just kind of, I like that look. I think I need a little more glue right here so it doesn't keep shifting. Okay, so then I'm just going to take and gently raise up the next layer. Go ahead and put a little glue, just enough to hold it. We can always come back and add more on those spots that we see needed. And then I'm gonna go ahead to the next layer. I'm just gonna be careful not to go past the spots um, that you want to show. You don't, you don't wanna get glue on those. So just kinda be mindful of that as you glue. But any mistakes can be fixed, it's no big deal. Because since we're layering, any mistakes you make, you can always go back and just add another layer. Cover it up. It won't hurt. It's very forgiving. Okay, so then I'm going to raise up this side. Add some here. Add some here. Little here and that is pretty much it you see how easy that was and this this corner is still kind of sticking up but I may leave a little bit of it sticking up actually so that it kind of has more dimension just 
going to secure it a little better. And then, and then you can take and just kind of distress your edges if you want. Some of it's going to get distressed anyway because it is sticking out the side. It'll get a little bent here and there. But I'm going to make it look like it was meant to be that way. Just add a few little curls, a few little um, bends in it. So it doesn't look quite so perfect. And you can even come back and hit those a little bit with your inker. Any of those spots that look a little bit too bright or too perfect, just come back and hit them with your inker. All right, I like that. I think that's cute. Got lots of layers on that one. Okay, so now let's move on and let's um, get the holes in the top. So all I did for this is just kind of figure out how I want it to hang as to where I put the holes. So if you would rather it, you know, hang at a little angle, depending on what the front looks like, then you can place your holes that way. Or if you, um, if you want it straight, then you just need to eyeball it to where the holes would be straight with whatever you want to be the focal point. So I'm just going to make sure that this piece right here is going to be straight in the center. So to do that, I'm just going to go in here and put a hole on each side. I want to make sure I get it in a good spot. So I'm just going down half an inch to an inch on each side. Like that. So there's that hole. And now I'm going to do about the same on this side. Okay, so this one's actually going to have to be in the picture, but that's okay. It'll be just fine. Somewhere in there is fine. Okay, so there's the two holes. Since this was off center, I had to put the hole inside of it. Okay, so I have two little eyelets here, and I'm going to put those in these holes. Okay, there's one. I'll set the other one. And there we go. So then I have a piece of this jute string. And I'm just gonna, I would say it's probably about two feet long, but you probably won't need all that. And I'm gonna run it through from the back on each side. And then just make sure it's flat and make sure that they're somewhat even on the front side. I'm just going to pull them up and tie a knot. And you can tie this however you want. This is just how I found worked for me. So that it would hang flat in the back. And then I just took and I pulled these tight and I glued these down a little bit. Just to keep them from sticking up so high. Did a little bit at an angle because it's not going to be straight whenever it pulls it. And then I'm just going to hold that there for a second. Hope my glue doesn't run all over. And I think these strings are a little long, so I'm going to shorten those. I just realized how long they were. Okay, so I'm just going to shorten this. Down a little farther. Only thing about this string is it makes such a mess, but it's pretty once you get it done. Let's see if that looks too long. I think that's good. And then I'll just cut these off. And you can kind of fray the edges if you like that look too. Let me add a little bit more glue 
underneath here because that paper is not staying down. Clean up my desk, all that string. Okay, so we've got that done. Now all there is to do is embellish it. So let's just see. I have this tiny little piece of like um, a handkerchief, but it kind of looks like a tablecloth to me. So since we're kind of going with we are fed and the, the vegetables and stuff that's written on the menu, I think I'm just gonna go with this and make it look like a piece of a tablecloth. So I think I'm gonna do that and maybe that bring out that pink color, give it some dimension. This was just a flower I made with a button and a rubber band with some bunched up fabric. I've had these made for years. Um, they were fun to make too. Super simple. So let me go ahead and glue this down. Gonna kind of bunch it up a little bit where it looks like it's meant to be that way. Pinch it and add some glue. And then I'm going to try this and see if it's going to stick up too high. I may have to add a little bit more layers under there. Actually, I have some doilies. Let me do that. That'll bring that white in there. And that'll help to keep this from being quite so high. That'll kind of level off the, the area there. So I'm just gonna go back in and add some more glue. So there's that little, um, beautiful little collage. And then we can just tie a little piece of ribbon. Let me look and see what I have. So I have these three seam binding ribbons. Um, so I think I'm gonna go with the light pink maybe. I just kinda like the soft look of that one. I'm gonna have to find somebody that sells this again because the lady I ordered all this from, she's no longer on Etsy. And it's always so pretty. So I'm just gonna tie a little bow right here and try not to let it hang down over that bird so you can still see the bird this stuff is kind of hard to tie so you have to kind of work with it because it looks so pretty when you do And you could even just make a bow and glue it. You wouldn't have to tie it around there. So let's see if that's gonna hang over that bird. Maybe if I raise it up a little more, go a little higher with it. And then you can always add a little glue there if you want, if it won't stay. Got glue everywhere. Open up this bow. It's just a little crinkly. You could even iron that if you if it bothered you. I'm not sure it's gonna bother me enough to iron it. I hate ironing. I don't mind it once I start, but it's just making myself get started. I don't like being wrinkled either though, so seam binding ribbon doesn't hurt to be. So I think that's better. I'm going with that. So there is that pretty one. And they're all just so, so simple, so easy to make, and so fun.
and just dig in your pile, see what you got left, and just start stacking. Because that's literally how this came about. So you could always add a little something here. I can see like a little word here. And I found this one. Make today beautiful. So you could always put that like right there. So I think I'll do that. So I'm just going to add that to the spot. I'll cover up that little half a word so it doesn't distract from this one. And look how sweet. I love it. And then you could always come back and add a little pocket on the back if you wanted. Um, either with paper or with lace. Put a sweet little piece of lace on the back. Like a belly band like we do in our journals. And slip something in there. You could make it a pocket like this. Just all kinds of ways. You can... Um, use this so you could take a piece of book page too and make a pocket in the back like that so I may glue that down and then I'll make a little something to go in there later you could put a bookmark a tag a little note, a gift card, um, a little mini journal like I showed you, a card, um, a handmade card. So it just it just depends on what you need it for. But I hope y'all enjoyed that and I hope that you have fun making some. I really had a lot of fun just kind of um, you know, just taking my little piles of paper that I had and just ended up gluing them down and ended up with something like this. So I think they turned out really pretty. And I'll bring all these back over. If you have any questions, just let me know. I know I didn't show all the process of tearing the papers and everything, but I didn't want the video to be too long. And um, so I just kind of went ahead and had some papers already torn because that's basically what was in my pile anyway. So. So here's some more. There we go. And look at all this beauty. And it was super quick, super fun. And I hope you have fun making them. Be sure and check out all of Christy's um, kits in her, uh, her shop, her Etsy shop, Everlasting Journals. And I'll link that below so you can go there and find them. And I'll link the kit that I used today. And Y'all just have a good rest of your day, a good week, and know that I love you. Thank you so much. God bless.